Hey guys, this is Onisha Biggs with another pharmacy tech lesson and today we're going to be talking about temperatures. So let's go ahead and get started into it. Um, basically with dealing with temperatures and conversions there's a certain formula that you can use. Now I know some people like to use two different formulas one for Celsius and one for Fahrenheit but basically I like to use this formula because by using this formula, you can convert either way and only have to remember one formula and be able to de derive both uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. So the formula basically is this. It's 5F equals 9C plus 160. So, of course, the F stands for Fahrenheit. Uh, and the C stands for Celsius. So either way, uh, depending on what you're given in a problem, you would solve for each variable. You can treat these both as just regular variables, okay? So let's say, for instance, um, you're given uh, one Fahrenheit, and they, and they tell you um, that is one degree Fahrenheit, and they tell you to determine what the degrees is in Celsius. So this is how you would do it. If you're given, if they say it's one degrees Fahrenheit, one degrees Fahrenheit, then this is what you would do. You would say five times one, you would just replace it, uh, place the one where the F goes, um, equals nine C plus 160. And basically you would just solve for C, okay? So this is what it will look like after you're done. It will be five equals nine C plus 160, uh, then you can you can say minus 160 on this side so you have to do it on this side as well um, so that leaves us with 9c equals negative 155 yeah divided by 9 divided by 9 and we get the calculator out c negative 155 divided by 9 uh, if we do that in decimal form, it's going to be about 17.2, or negative 17.2 rather. So the answer would be uh, C equals negative 17.2 degrees Celsius. Okay, now let's work another one the other way around. So let's say we're given um, 1 degree Celsius, okay? So in this case, we would fill it in right here and place the one there. So let's see, it would be 5F equals 9 times, uh, we'll go ahead and put it in 1, plus 160. Okay, so this was pretty straightforward. You would do 9 times 1 here, you multiply first, plus 160. And you can bring your 5F down. Um, and we're solving for F. Remember that we're solving for the F. Okay, so on this side, it leaves us with 169, which equals 5F. Then to isolate the variable, we want to divide by 5, cross, divide by 5 on this side. And we're going to get what F is. So if we get our calculator... And we say 169 divided by 5. That's going to leave us with around 33.8. So 33.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's our answer. So as you can see, converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit, if you use this particular formula, um, it's pretty much straightforward. You may or may not have to do it on your uh, pharmacy tech exam. Not sure. It depends on the toss up that you get with your questions. But it's always good to know um, how to convert uh, from Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I hope that this video helped. If it has helped you, leave a comment below. Also like and subscribe to the channel. And also if you 
know someone else that could benefit from these videos, share this channel with them and also share this video on your social media. If you have any more questions, go over to the questions video or you can simply um, ask a question in the comments pertaining to this particular lesson. But if you have any more questions regarding um, maybe college help, um, should you go to a pharmacy tech college, different things like that, um, getting into retail pharmacy, getting into a clinical setting, then you can ask all those questions at the questions video, which there will be a link in the description box below, okay? So you guys take care. Have a great day. This is Onisha Biggs with another pharmacy tech lesson. Bye-bye.